Joining me on Impact Catalyst is, is Ashley Giasone, who's the Executive Director of the Ryan Wells Foundation. Welcome, Ashley. How are you? Thanks, Joe. Doing great. So I've been through the website and kind of get the, uh, you know, understand the, the, all that you've got going on for the benefit of our, of our viewers who may not be familiar with you. Let's, uh, let's learn a bit more about the foundation. Sure. So we started at a, as a 501c3 back in 2005 after the passing of my other brother, younger brother, Ryan, um, who was a high school student at Tarpon Springs High School. He was in the culinary arts program, very active in the community, like an Eagle Scouts and stuff. And so after he passed away, you know, a couple close family friends reached out to us and said, hey, you guys really should consider starting a scholarship in his name. So we did just that, kind of reserving it just for other Tarpon Springs graduates in the culinary program initially. And then over the years, it just our support has grown where we're supporting several high schools now um, financially, as well as the students pursuing culinary arts or hospitality for college. That's the exception rather than the rule in that uh, it's, it's a lot of folks will, you know, if they have um, a tragedy and, and there'll, there'll be scholarships and, and usually, you know, they kind of go on for a while and, and some of them can maintain for a number of years, but it's actually pretty unusual for, uh, you know, that to grow into something as, as big as what you've got. What do you attribute that to? A lot of support, a lot of outside support. You're right. Um, I mean, there's so many fantastic family foundations or private foundations or even public foundations that give scholarships out to people, but we definitely try to take it a step further, get really involved um, with the programs, the high school programs themselves, finding out what they needed, how we could support them. Um, You know, we started off fundraising with a golf tournament because it was something easy for us to do. My dad's a big golfer. Ryan was actually on his high school golf team. So it was an easy transition to start raising money that way. But then one day we got a call out of the blue from um, Russ Kimball, who was the general manager at the Sheridan Sand Key Resort at the time, very active in FRLA, Florida Restaurant Lodging Association. He had read an article in the newspaper in the Tampa Bay Times about Ryan's passing. And he had already been thinking of like some kind of event to um, really support students pursuing culinary and hospitality. And so this became the perfect outlet for him to host that event and to donate, you know, the funds back to our mission. So really, I think the launch of our evening with the chefs event was just so instrumental in where we're at today. And as you expanded from just the scholarship to all that you're you're doing now, what have been some of the key uh, key utility you br- you brought to the you know to the students and and to the schools and all the folks in between? Sure. Well, um, I mean, scholarships are our bread and butter. About you know sixty percent of our funding, but we came to recognize the great need that these high schools had to whether it was to purchase food or equipment or attend competitions for the students to keep learning. Um, So we're like, well, we really need to have our mission support that too. And it's more than just, um, you know, when I say scholarship, sure, we're writing a check that goes to that institution of the, the student's choice, but we'll really become almost like a mentor or a friend of that student throughout their college years, even past, um, with, you know, trying to connect them with, you know, jobs if they were end up returning to the Tampa Bay area, um, because a lot of them do. I mean, they realize it's a great place to live and, and work after college. Um, so we just, you know, really try to take a whole rounded approach to it and not just here, we're going to give you, you know, $10,000 so you can go pursue your dreams at the Culinary Institute of America. And for you personally, I know you have some hospitality in your educational background. Uh, did you expect to be this active and this involved with the with as for as long as you have been now, some some fifteen plus years down the road? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, we definitely never saw the foundation growing to the extent it has with the impact it has. Um, my personal involvement, I mean, when we started. Actually, upon just after Ryan's death, I was um, pursuing a master's degree in hospitality from University of Central Florida. 
And um, I always wanted to get into hotel sales. I did that for a while after um, college. And then I started a family of my own. And, you know, my parents, um, who were really mainly the operations of the foundation, said, Ashley, do you want to kind of step in and, and take over a bit? And first, I was a little hesitant because, you know, working for the parents, you know, that's a little, <laughs> can be a little challenging. But I went ahead and agreed. And I think they've been a little bit shocked at where I've been able to, you know, take it to. Now they're working for you. In a way, yes, yes. Um, There's a good balance of power, I would say. (laughs) But um, I mean, it's really allowed me to kind of put some of my industry experience to to work. And I get to, you know, continue working with other hospitality professionals providers, some great chef partners across the Tampa Bay region. So that that has been really exciting. That's great. So tell us a little bit about the evening, how it kind of works and how folks can get connected to it. Sure. So Evening with the Chefs is usually an in-person event where we pull a bunch of student volunteers from all the partner schools we work with and pair them with professional chefs to actually cook the food and serve it on site at the Sheridan Sand Key. But and up until kind of late July, we were still planning on having that. But, you know, we're like, "Ah, you know what, let's go virtual instead. So what people can experience the night of the event, which is October 8th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., they're going to end up seeing um, highlights from a kitchen battle that we put on recently where chefs and students actually work together on teams to make an entree and then presented it to judges, had it tasted, had it scored, um, and there is a winner of the show. So I'll, you know, think kind of like Chopped or you know something like that you might see on Food Network. So you'll get to see highlights from that. You'll get to see actual personal one-on-one interviews with some of those students who are scholarship recipients this year, as well as um, professional chefs in the industry. We're going to be live, actually, at the Fenway Hotel in Dunedin. So we'll have, you know, a little appearance from Chef Eric McHugh from there and maybe a couple other appearances from some other chefs throughout the night. So it'll be a fun event just to celebrate education and culinary arts and hospitality and the local uh, restaurants that are participating in the event. Wonderful. So more information at Ryan Wells. Ryan wellsfoundation.com and we'll have that uh, on the bottom of the recording i appreciate you coming on and 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 sharing information about your brother and what's come come uh, out of his his passing which is uh, a mighty and wonderful and long-lasting thing so well done and congratulations on on honoring his memory in such a profound way and thank uh, you Wish yes, you. you know, people ask all all the time, you know, is it is it hard, you know, knowing that, you know, your brother passed and stuff and how do you deal with that? And really for our family, the foundation has been so meaningful in um, in that transition where maybe, you know, he didn't get the chance to live out his dreams, but now we've given that opportunity to over a hundred students, you know, and for scholarships. And really when you look at across the schools we support, there's, you know, about a thousand students a year across these culinary programs. So they're getting to benefit um, from his passing and we could be happier to be a part of that. That's wonderful. All right. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, Good luck. We'll we'll, uh, keep watching and keep supporting. Awesome. Thanks, Joe.